Okay, Mike here at Sky Include. I've been going through all the different naming solutions. You know, if you check the recent videos in mid April 2021, trying my best to catch up doing deep dives. So, Polka Domain PNS is a um, Polka Note naming system. Uh, their token is going on a public sale today, uh, April 16, 2021, Friday. So there's a mostly their focus is talking about this, but I just uh, wanted to, again, as a handshaker uh, community member, just want to keep my eyes on all these different solutions. So it's polka domain.org. Um, again, it's not live. Uh, it's coming soon. And uh, it's a blockchain DNS and NFT solution. Okay. So they, they do talk about competitor competitors uh, but they don't bring up handshake at all I'm, I'm curious maybe they haven't found our videos or, or our, uh, <coughs> found anything about us mm, but I have a feeling they have but maybe they haven't um, we'll talk about that but this is testnet I just want to show you a uh, testnet this is their uh, testnet so you can see they're mining so there's ways you can mine the name coin N A M E. it's not yet on um, on a few more hours I'm, I checked out their telegram and some other things so I downloaded their doc, which is a PDF. It's like a flow chart here. And I went through it. Um, I, you know, I guess Polkadot is all about cross chains. So it's, it's going to be backed by Polkadot, which I think is their big main selling point here. And the native token, which is name, which can be used for registering deposits, trading names, transaction fees, and governance. Um, so the main points will be registering a domain, releasing a domain, um, releasing ownership, or unstake. Okay, um, transferring transactions. So I, you know, like updating your your DNS or updating your data. And uh, and top level domain management. So whether to make a top level domain available for registration. See, so um, users can register as a top level domain, second level domain, like mydomain.pd. I think they're going to focus right now on PD. Um, so, you know, if ENS is focused on .eth right now. Um, crypt Unstoppable is mostly .crypto and .zil. <coughs> So it seems like it's going to be like that. But there might be a vote on whether to make a top-level domain. So I guess anybody knows Handshake and watch these videos, it's only TLDs. It's, it's you know, like ENS domain says and they're saying polluting the namespace or like flooding the namespace with TLDs everywhere. So it seems like Polkadot naming Serp PNS is uh, focused really maybe on PD right now. Again, check out skyinclude.com slash soft fork for JJ, one of the founders of Handshake, the creators, um, where he says it was going to be maybe .h, but they decided to just go root level directly. So just going through this chart, advanced, advanced features, domain marketplace, so that you can uh, trade names or you can make domains as NFTs, um, as an asset uh, and stored on IPFS. And then... Um, Tra transfer it as an NFT instead of as a domain and cross chain at anonymous address for people to pay. pay. Okay. So then there's going to be the PD in the development side. And I just showed you quickly their test net. It'll be on mainnet probably soon once there may be public sales open. So you can see the blocks here on the, the name polka domain NAME uh, mining. Let's go back to PDF. So there's going to be a blockchain. There's going to be the DAP, uh, blockchain explorer. You know where you can see, see, um, see what's been on chain, what's happening. So you can see your transfers, registrations, etc. The wallet, of course, and a tech stack, um, React, Web3 JS, Polkadot JS. Yeah. Honestly, I'm embarrassed. I'm not so technical there, but that's that's basically, I believe, what's in this. Um, this, I don't think there's a white paper. I swore I thought there was one in December. I talked about this in the Handshake Competitors thing, but I can't see it on their latest site. So <clears throat> I dug through. I went through Telegram a bit. I checked 
they're really focused right now on their their public sale of NAME. So I, I went in Telegram a bit. It's, it's on. It's locked right now. Twitter um, Medium is the main thing I I went through for this video. So it seems like the Medium here started in in um, April second, twenty twenty one, my birthday, <laughs> and uh, they introduced it a bit. So I think that's this article. Here I read this, you know, this is the main focus and the flowchart I already went through, but basically domains and it looks like um, Polkadot Exchange auction domains. Basically, you know, I think this is their main selling point is they're leveraging Polkadot. So, you know, of course, then basically instead of a long hexadecimal wallet, you can use your domain name, a domain name to do it. Okay, so it's a pretty short article. You know, this is testnet I showed you. Okay. Let's keep going. And then their name token, uh, they announced that on April 6th. NAME, they did a private sale. They show their chart again. Uh, it'll be used for, you know, registering auctions. It's like, I think like HNS, like Handshake. So this is NAME to buy and sell domains and polka dot naming system. Um, you'd need that. So... They're using that to raise money, public round, which I think is today. And um, you can read about that here, about that. And here's the good one. I think this is one probably we weren't interested in. April 5th, they came out with their market research. And they don't seem to know about, their com you know, this is the ways people sell domains now. They say, you know, d deposits, renewals, one-time fee, blind auction, Dutch auction. Um, you know. They don't, we have Vickery and, and uh, Handshake. They don't mention that one. Uh, so they talk about competitors. GoDaddy, we all know. I don't need to talk about GoDaddy. ENS, we've done a long ENS-VS versus uh, HNS. You can see that one. Yeah, I mean, it's on .eth, and its yearly fee is um, $5 for five or more character. For three, it gets higher. Unstoppable domains, we talked about .crypto or .zill. Um this is lifetime. I did make a vi little bit of a mistake. I'm sorry on my YouTube video comparing that. <clears throat> I thought it was yearly, but it's a lifetime fee for dot cryptos. And then they, they put those three here on a chart. Okay. And uh, yeah, no additional fee here for Unstoppable and uh, how you can pay. Right. So yeah, of course, Fiat with GoDaddy, Ethereum for ENS, credit card, PayPal, and crypto for Unstoppable. Okay, decentralized or not, and the yearly, they're yearly. So then they talk about theirs. This is I'm gonna put this also on the on skyinclude.com slash polka domain. I'll put that up. I put that I quoted them here, and I linked to this article. This so basically minimize risk of fraud phishing. They're gonna reserve. We think it's the Alexa hundred thousand Mark Smith. We had a clubhouse. We're talking about that. Um, reserve. And then maybe they'll let them in the future integrate for free for trademark names, existing trademark domains. I'm wondering how. Okay, so, you know, they'll reserve trademark names. And there seems like the way to stop people from hoarding or squatting, they're going to be an annual fee. Okay. But you can register for multiple years. And then they said the fee will not go up. Okay, so it's a yearly fee. Or, you know, of course you can pay, like ENS domains, it says you can pay 100 years up front if you want. So that's um, that's that. And then inactive ones, of course, will go into expired. You know, we know that from dot coms, you know, exp expiration. And then, if you know, then it will go into Dutch auction. And then uh, they're going to, seems like they're, they're going to hold public premium domains. I don't know how they determine which are premium or not. And they'll, they'll release them. And uh, they didn't say how. So... This is my uh, my research here. So it looks like it'll be on a .pd TLD for now. You know, if you read in their, uh, I don't know if you call this white paper, they said they might have TLDs in the future uh, with a vote. Uh, but it seems like you as a user, us as a user, me as a user, we'd always have to get a second level domain on a yearly basis. So honestly, actually, I'm not as concerned about this anymore because uh, I... I don't know. I don't really want to pay yearly. I don't want to pay yearly. Okay. Um, I don't know if I notice how much, but 
Honestly, I thought this was going to be on TLDs. Maybe they'll have new TLDs, but it seems like us, me, you as a user, we have to just pay a yearly fee like .eth. And, uh, you know, we have to renew and we have to buy a name token, N-A-M-E, to buy and sell. Um, and then they might release TLDs, but just like ENS, you won't, I won't be able owner of a TLD. I'll be, I'll be able to register an SLD on, on uh, Polka Domains TLDs. It's at least how I read it. Again, I, I know there's some people get upset if I say something wrong. I've read all the public documents I can find as of mid-April. Um, you know, like I said, they're focused on their name right now, their public sale, I, all their content I can see is about that. So if you go on their Twitter, they'll be talking all about that. They have a huge airdrop where you got, you got to, uh, you know, share on your social media and you got to like fill out a Google form. I, I didn't do that. There's also, they said 25% of the airdrop will go to .eth. So I did register a .eth. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get that. So they just joined, uh. A month ago, and they have 83, you know, 1,000. Handshake Jesus has fallen, Mark Smith has fallen him. Interesting. So, yeah, right now they're really focused in this public sale on Uniswap. Okay. Um, so that's really what I see a lot. And then before that, they were really focused on the airdrop and then getting whitelisted. For so right now, this seems like the focus right now... Um, is raising money, you know, they've raised money. But uh, I just want to talk about cross chain a little bit. We've talked about this a lot on clubhouses. We were lucky enough to have Hugo from Flare talk about SLDs and domain tokenization. He's a big fan. He's a CEO and one of the founders of Flare.xyz. And it will be focused on um, tokenization cross chain. So we can use Handshake on Flare to then create tokens and uh, this is Jahan talking about it and he's he's an investor and very excited about it. So again, Handshake is very focused on the root zone blockchain and then we can bridge to Ethereum. We can use Flare. Another one I'm studying, I think this is Kiba. I'm still learning this, but um, Titans of Data, I'm not sure. I don't know when this is written, but I think this is really new. So this is going to allow you to buy domains and own it anywhere. So I, I'm maybe going to do a dedicated video on this, but, but um, basically this will, these are some solutions for cross chain, right? So dot badass is on Ethereum, which is a handshake name. This is something really new. I'm still studying about um, rap. Again, I'm trying my best to be, it's a cross network handshake protocol. X and HNS. So you can be able to, this looks like a solution to what Polkadot is talking about with cross chain. So I think Handshake will have that capability if not already. And then there's Flare. So those look like three different solutions, Ethereum, Bridge, this X and HNS and Flare.xyz um, helping with that. So it seems like, and honestly, I like the flexibility, you know, and the simplicity of the Handshake blockchain, you know, and, uh, I recommend I made a little clip of that from uh, Soft Fork. I always do this to make it easy. And you can listen to JJ's own words like a six minute video. I've listened to it a few times over. <laughs> oh man, this is, I hope. My team's making these great. Anyway, I'm not gonna make you watch this now, but. Okay, um, but back to Polka. It looks like your looks like their public sales are big focus. They're raising money. Of course, um, I've seen some people in the handshake talk rooms getting a little bit of fud right now, getting a little bit nervous. But it looks like you, we will. It seems like another dot ETH, another dot crypto, where well, dot crypto is lifetime, but dot ETH, you're gonna have yearly fees and you gotta buy name and AME tokens, um, to be able to buy and sell these, and then you'll be able to cross chain this on polka dot um and there might be tlds later but it looks like it's got to be voted on and i don't think you as a user will will be able to own own the tld i think you as a user or me as a user will be a owner on the the domain sld level mm, 
I hope I got this. Uh, maybe I'll do a second video, a follow-up video, because I know that they're focused on their public sale right now, and they haven't released all the data, and they're still on test net. But it's been a lot of people asking me about this, and there's some people getting paranoid about it in um, Telegram groups of the Handshake groups, so I just figured I'd make this, this video. Um, I hope, again, I'm trying to not be biased, but of course I have a Handshake hat I'm heavily invested in, uh, and I, I want to kind of do a comparison. So this looks like it's... It's if you're a fan of polka dot and uh, and uh, you know you it seems like if you want to have a dot pd domain on a yearly basis and 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 really w work with all the power of polka dot this looks like something for you um, I hope that makes sense and I hope I'm being as neutral as I possibly can thank you so much and I do wish them the luck I mean they are we're all trying to decentralize and give um more solutions in web3 and a new future internet thank you so much for watching mike at sky include again this will be i'll put the show notes and links on skyinclude.com slash polka domains or polka naming system pns or their name token all right thank you bye-bye and i hope this works and i got this new camera <laughs> see you later